Hello everyone. Now we will continue with some more functionalities of ALV. Now we will jump on to filtering. In the previous video, we covered sorting through coding. Now we will cover filtering through coding. Now, suppose I will go to the program. I will go to the ALV program. I will give the input. You can see we have a option of filter itself. Suppose if I will put a cursor on a column, if I will go to filter, I can filter the value. Suppose I only want to see the records of user OCT 15 and I can apply a filter and you can see only user OCT 15 records are there. Now what customer is saying, I will not go for any action on this filter button. Whenever the ALV output is coming, I only want those records in the output where user is user OCT 15. It means you need to filter that data based upon this user you need to write a code for the same. In this case, we clicked and we filter. Now what customer is saying, no, whenever the output is coming, output should be filtered based upon that. Now we will see how to achieve this particular requirement. So what I will do, I will make a copy of this program and we will achieve the filter functionality. I will give some known name to the program. Copy. I will save this as a local object. I will activate the program. Now to achieve the filter functionality, we will see, we can see we have a parameter it underscore filter we will use this parameter. I will uncomment this parameter. I will declare one internal table in front of this parameter. We know that type of LT underscore filter will be same as that of IT filter. How we will check the type? Double click. I will go to import tab. IT filter is of this type. If I will double click, it is a table type which has this structure. In the structure, again, we have a nested structure and these are the columns or I'll say properties which we will use to achieve our filter functionality. So I will declare first thing. LT underscore filter. I will copy that table type of IT underscore filter and I will declare in my program data LT underscore filter type. Yes. Now I will declare the work area also. I'll just wait. The system is hanged. Similar way, I will declare the work area also. Similar way, I will declare the work area. LS underscore filter type structure. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now for the best, best part, I will open this program in a new session so that it will be easy to check and write the logic. This table type, I will double click. This structure, I will double click. Structure has nested structure and we will use these things. To achieve the filter functionality, 
anyone should be aware about the select option. I we have a separate topic. What are the various parts of select option? But to understand the filtering functionality, you must be aware about the parts of select option. What are the parts of select option? If I will say we have four parts of select option: sign, option, low. What is sign? Sign stands for I or E. I means include, E means exclude. What is option? Option is relational operator. Relational operator means it can be equal to, it can be between, it can be less than, it can be greater than. Now, what is low? Low is the low value which you are passing, and high is the high value which we are passing. For the best understanding, how to write a logic of the filter, I will show you these first. So it will be easy for you to write the logic. Suppose if I will go to the program, I'm running the program in the debugging mode. I am only passing a low value. This is low. This is high. I am passing a low value and this is select option. I am going for execute. If I will show you the select option, you can see select option has four parts. Sign, option, low or high. What is the value of sign? I. I means include. You are including this value. And what is the value? Relational operator is equal to. Your value is equal to that particular thing. Now, suppose I am going for low and high both. Suppose I am going for low value and high value. If I will go to execute, you can see. Select option if I will show you. Sign is include. Now you can see the option is between. You have a value from this to this. Now you can see the relational operator is between. between Because you are going for a range of values. This is your low value and this is your high value. Suppose I will go for another case. Suppose I want value from this to this, but in between this sales document number, I do not want, suppose three zeros, five, one, two, three, four, five. Suppose I will say one, two, three, four, five, six. Suppose I do not want this. We want this to this, but we do not want this particular thing. So what I will do, I will simply click on to multiple selection button. I will do it again. Suppose I'm going for this to this range. In between this range, I want to exclude a particular value. So I went to exclude values button. Suppose I do not want to see this value. If I will go to execute, now you can see what is the values in the select option. Include this to this. Now you can see we are excluding this particular value. So whenever your output will come, it will display from this to this, but this will not appear in the output. Now, we will do the filtering based upon this only. Because what is filter? You are filtering. Means you want to include these values or you want to exclude these values. So we will use this concept to apply the filter. So to apply a filter, we should be aware about these parts of select option. Now we will write a code. How to write a code? We will see.
we will use the various options. LS underscore filter hyphen. What is the column name on which column name you want to do the filtering? Field name. What is the field name? ER num means username. LS underscore filter hyphen. Now, what is your internal table? Which internal table you are filtering? Your whole data is in which internal table? ILT underscore final. So we will pass our internal table name LT underscore final. Now, we will go for next thing. Now we will pass. What is the sign? Sign. We will go for this particular property because name is mentioned this. We want to include the value. So I will use I. LS underscore filter. We will go for option. What is for the option? Optio. We are only going for single value, single value. And I showed you whenever you are going for only low value, what is the relational operator equal to? Now we will go for LS underscore filter. What is the low? What is the low value? You can see we will use this value F underscore INT means from. And what is the value we want for the username? User OCT 15. I will check. Is this the same we want? Yes, user OCT 15. If you want a another, if you want a high value also, you can use user T underscore INT. This is user to two value. Now I will append ls underscore filter to lt underscore filter. So we are filtering this internal table based upon the username and the value is user OCT15. We are only only including a single value and this internal table you are passing here. I will check the syntax and I will activate. I will show you in debugging mode. I will go to desktop three and show you how it is working. You can see LT filter is blank as of now. Now we are appending the data to LT filter. And you can see we have LT filter include. We are including this value for this particular field username. If I will go to execute, you can see we have all data of user OCT 15. So we filtered that data based upon this particular user ID. Now in the next video, we will see how to exclude also and how to give the range also, how to filter for a particular range. So that's it in this video. Thank you.